approval of yours. Check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. <sighs> Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. No. Wait a moment, what was that? Code 1811-79. Listen, everyone! Area 18. Dash five. I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code one what? eight one one dash seven Who nine. That number Area one eight dash Got five. It. Only by standing so together shall so we overcome any and here. all of the Yamantal Mountain. So the route from here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come on. 
Dawn! How about Aurora? The Roman goddess of Dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Time, ah, beautiful name! It sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink it! Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, uh, full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. So now it looks like we get to have a, a look at the train itself and have a walk around, which is pretty sick. So let's actually have a quick tour before we do um, go into any more missions. Hmm, this is actually pretty cool. So dear Moses, can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? Or not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. A weird feeling, I am a friend. I remember you telling me how you took your mask off atop a stunken otar. When you honed those missiles in on the dark ones, was the air bitter then? Who knows though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. Life is weird. Huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. And you are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water. And what drink is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain? That's a mystery. That's what I often think about when facing a choice. You can't drop the chain either. You always have to drink from that bucket. Well, bottoms up, I suppose. So, how does it feel to be the boss that's so good? He's called Idiot. <laughs> I've just realized that name. <laughs> Andre Ivanovich. So, how did you like that fresh air? Out of this world, isn't it? I thought I'd ask your Mac about where we're headed next. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Thanks, guys. Yes, as for me, I'm not in the Well, hello there, Tom. You people could have called me up there to drink to Aurora. I still think Bilzebub was a better name. <laughs> Uh, by the way, size. Well, help yourself. Because, frankly speaking, I'm a bit tired here. The only good thing about this job is that you forget it's winter. <laughs> That's cool how you can interact um, on the train and that. Nice. But it looks like we need to go and take a look at the map now to see where our heading is and possibly even do our next mission. Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people onto my Aurora. The guards took them outside and came back alone. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. 
Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Gross anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! <laughs> Four bogies on a trolley! All hands, report to the bridge, on the double. Are you alright, Atio? Oh, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? In the uniforms. None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? It's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. Yeah, I go with Archim too. That's back up. No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? Yeah, I don't know yet. Let's go, Artyom. Take on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model, a portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Nice. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Well, I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. Oh, should have done this. Well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy. Enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. <clears throat> hey, what was that? Could you check it out? Yeah, sure. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Oh, no way, look at the crafting uh, thing. This is mad. I 
That's cool. Hey, Atyom, what's taking you so long? Come outside. I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. <clears throat> They've done some continuity of this game from the last one. Big rabbit. Yo, we're bound to get ambushed. You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. You, okay, so... Break a leg. <laughs> no, dude, this is sick. dwellers won't even talk to heretics but i'll tell you everything i've seen in this place all that year oh it's the bridge guard there's a boat at the dock we also have one but it's too small for all of us Artyom, she's right get to the boat we will rescue her later don't worry 
Mmm, is that that was pretty crazy that. Right. <laughs> I think there's someone down here. Are you sure that was a heretic? Well, what else? They say it was Satan himself. <laughs> and you believe them? Well, they say that as soon as Father Salentius finished his sermon, there was a flash of yellowish light and a heretic just vanished. I can't go this way. The, it's all blocked off. Pretty brutal those uh, kills like Try not make a sound When we're cutting these we actually get supplies as well which is pretty cool that hey if they say you worship the devil that too will you teach me I'd make a good apprentice a really really good one come on teach me I don't work for the double bird <laughs> I'm not too sure which way I need to go. Oh, what's that? A shotgun or something? Yeah, I'll take that. No, I'm gonna go this way. There's a bow hanging up there. <laughs>
Though I've got to take Katya and Nastya to the Aurora, so see you there. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight there from your position. Oh sweet, yeah I can, if I keep going that way. Seems like there's something underneath. Probably them horrible things. Oh no. That was close. Artyom, over here. I see you, I'm coming. <laughs> Holy crap. What the hell is that? like a shark. Some big uh, shark. <laughs> what the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry, told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection? Or being dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though, we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into jumping all those water bugs. How did Mars get the 